purpose of this presentation is to display our progress and development of our touch football skills and the capacity of completing drills to a satisfactory manner. I'll be going through the movements and the structure of the drills, also the benefits we got. Movement 1. Dump split and rack. I'm in the associative stage because I've shown that I understand the drill and I can do it with intensity with a small amount of error. Both motor skills were used during this sequence. Gross motor skills were used when we performed the dump split by using your legs to push back into the position to receive the ball. Also, your arms for the power of the pass. The fine motor skills were used when performed the pass. Your fingertips were used for accuracy or spin. The weather wasn't great, so we had to use a hall, which had some rate limiters, like the volleyball net, which was a disruption, but we couldn't do much about that. The movement was tight while performing the drill. It also came with some benefits, like working in a tight space, which your awareness had to be good. The hall came with a balcony that gave you a bird's eye view for your recording. Movement 2, man on man defending. While performing this drill, I believe that I'm in the associative learning stage. I'm at this stage because I understand and I've got the capability to help others during this sequence. Both motor skills were used during this sequence. Gross motor skills were used when you touch your opposition, your shoulders and biceps are used to position your tag. Fine motor skills are shown when you performed your touch, your fingertips were the first impact. There were some small rate limiters like the understanding of the drill by the other team, which made it hard for us all to get our footage. It came with some benefits like the hill to record our footage off, which made it easier for our, all the players to see. By performing these drills, it extended my knowledge and capability of touch football. Doing these sequences, I can take away the understanding of fine and gross motor skills and can now know what to do in certain situations. The most effective drill, in my opinion, is the man-on-man -man defending because it limits the opposition's movement. Thank you very much and have a good one.